Hi, so this is part of our um, Start the Week weekly prayer focus. We're continuing to look at the Lord's Prayer. And for the last couple of weeks, actually, we have looked at the, the part saying, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We looked about how this is the best prayer we could possibly ever pray and how we can pray it over world situations and over individuals. But you know, if we can pray it over individuals and it's the best prayer we could ever pray, then we can pray it over ourselves and it will be the best prayer we've ever prayed for ourselves. What would it look like for his kingdom to come and his will to be done in our lives as it is in heaven? It would mean living in his presence. It would mean incredible peace. It would mean immeasurable joy. It would mean that, you know that occasional experience where we just feel especially close to Jesus? It would mean that that was our daily experience. His kingdom fully experienced in our lives. Does that sound impossible? I don't think it is. I don't think it is impossible. Some people do experience this. I know for even for myself that I'm certainly far closer to God and far closer to being aware of his presence than I have in the past. There have been times when I've felt almost immeasurably aware of him and those times that really stand out were times when I was incredibly ill and haven't felt so much closer. And this is going to sound very strange, but in some ways I miss that sense of closeness. But I'm certainly on a daily basis experiencing a closer walk with God than I was a few years ago. There are definitely times when I experience his presence and his peace and his joy more. In fact, they are more common that I feel his presence far more common than I, they used to be. You know, when we live in a way that is more fully aware of his kingdom, fully aware of his presence, it's easier to know his will and it's easier to do his will. You know, we can feel that it's all kind of pie in the sky when we die, but actually, what's the phrase? It can be cake on the plate while we wait as well. Because actually, doing his will now Living in his presence now, it's that little taste of heaven on earth. And it does make things better. Excuse me as I move things around. You know, if it makes it better, then it would be wise to do it, isn't it? So wisdom tells us that whenever we can, we should aim to do his will. When we know what the right thing to do is, we should do it. <laughs> and when we don't know what the right thing to do is, we should ask him. We can even follow the same principles from last week for ourselves. What is God's will for me? Do you think you know? Then pray for strength to do it. And you know, you can do anything through God's strength. Anything he wants you to do, you can do through his strength. So then instead of waiting until you feel strong enough, just start. I very much doubt most of the key players in the Bible felt strong enough. They just had that little bit of faith that said, I'm going to trust God to help me with this. And they started. So when you think you know what you're meant to do, ask for strength to do it and then start. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. What about if you're not sure what you're meant to do? Well, check with scriptural principles. What does God say about your situation or situations like yours? think you're getting an idea what to do ask for strength to do it and start hmm what if you're still unsure you've looked at bible examples of things that look a little bit similar they seem to reflect what you're going through but you're still not quite sure what to do ask god to show you how to pray if you feel you're getting an answer keep praying and if you if it's really yeah you, you think you've got an answer now then pray for strength to do it and start. And if you don't know, if you're not feeling that you're getting an idea, 
of what you're meant to do, then keep asking God, keep listening to your heart, read your Bible, something may jump out at you that's your answer that shows you what to do. And if, if that isn't doing it, if, if spending time in worship and prayer isn't starting to form some sort of sense of what God's saying in your heart, then seek wise counsel. I don't mean what your roommate says necessarily or what your mum says necessarily. Look for the, the wise Christian that you know. Or, or look for, you know, connect with somebody that has a, a reputation of wisdom, of biblical wisdom. Ask them, what should I do? Hopefully it'll be your pastor or somebody in a pastoral responsible, pastorally responsible role for you in church life. Maybe you're not in church. You should get into church. <laughs> What's God's will for me? Help me to discern, because we're told to discern together. But when you feel that you've got an idea of what to do, then start. Don't wait till you feel strong enough. Basically, you will never feel strong enough. And if you do feel strong enough, you're probably arrogant, and you're probably depending on yourself, not God, and that's not how it's meant to be. So don't do that. But if God's asking you to do something, he probably needs you and probably expects and wants you to depend on him to do it. Unless it's just go do the washing up, in which case you just need to get on with it. <laughs> Maybe sometimes you might even need God's strength to do that. But when we keep choosing over and over his will over ours again and again, we bring ourselves closer to him. We bring ourselves closer into his kingdom. So as we pray this, we're making a declaration over ourselves as well, that we want God's will to be done in us, that we want God's kingdom to come in us. And when we pray that, when we speak that out over ourselves, that declaration resets our thinking and helps us to do his will. So I pray over you now. Lord God, let your kingdom come in me and in my friends listening. Let your will be done in me and in my friends who are listening, just as it is in heaven. <laughs>